Hey everyone, and welcome, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be introducing my two new hamsters, and that might be quite surprising for those of you that aren't on my Instagram. I initially said I was only going to get one Syrian hamster, but I actually ended up adopting one Syrian and one Robo in separate cages, obviously. But I was so sure I was just going to get one Syrian because I only have space for one hamster cage in my room right now. I rearranged everything. So you can see Yoshi's cage is behind me, and then I have Sirius's cage right over there. And then all my plants and everything got moved around. So I thought for sure I would not be able to adopt another hamster, but we found some space and I will explain that and show you where she is later. But I cannot wait to introduce you to my new Syrian hamster, Petunia, and my new robot hamster, Ariel. They are absolutely adorable. But before we get into this video, I want to quickly mention a couple things. First of all, I did change the channel name to Annalise Animals. My real name is Annalie, and these are my animals, so Annalise Animals. And secondly, I apologize for this video being very delayed. I did want to post it sooner after we got the hamsters, but very soon after we got the hamsters, my cat Max attacked me, and that was a whole thing, but I'm not going to get into all of that. I did post everything on my community tab so if you want to know what happened and that whole crazy situation you can go look there but for now let's meet the hamsters and i'm so excited to get into this video so here's petunia it's actually monday right now we got her on saturday i wanted to give her some time to settle in and i just got super distracted with like instagramming her and bonding with her and everything i was just really excited it's just so sweet she's enjoying everything in her enclosure and she just let me pet her very, very sweet. I can also pick her up, but some days she's more okay with that than others. Like today, she was being a little jumpy, but I could still pick her up for short periods of time. I think she just has a lot of energy and wants to explore all around. So she was like, I don't have time for this. I don't want to stay in your hands. I'm just gonna go and run around. So I'm just letting her do whatever. That's fine too. I absolutely love that she wants to run all around and explore everything. It's adorable. So might as well get some cute videos and pictures while she's doing it. And as you know, she's from a rescue. So I'm gonna tell you a little story of why we decided to pick her. Because at the rescue, there was a few Syrians that we looked at. There was another girl, maybe two other girls, and then a baby boy Syrian that we looked at and met and held and everything like that so we kind of just i mean i kind of just was deciding who would vibe with me and who would be the best fit for you know what i have going on here this enclosure my preferred handling method i guess <laughs> everything like that and petunia was just doing really really well she was pretty chill, although the lady at the rescue did say she was supposed to be like one of the more skittish hamsters, one that was harder to handle, and she would be harder to adopt out because of that. But while we were there, she was being like really tame and just super sweet. So that's really why I decided to adopt her because she was the absolute sweetest to me and the other hamsters were lovely as well. But I just felt like I connected with her more, was able to handle her, pet her more, interact with her more. She was just super curious and really, really interested in me. So that's why I chose her over the other hamsters there. Also, the fact that she would have been harder to adopt out was really appealing to me because I would much rather... Oh, that was really cute. Anyway, because I would much rather rescue a hamster that's going to be harder to adopt out than one that's just going to be adopted out the very next day because those hamsters will go very quickly but since she has a little bit more of a skittish nature and was kind of being skittish around other people i guess she definitely would have been harder to get into forever home so here she is in our forever home <laughs> i absolutely adore her she is the sweetest little cutest little most adorable thing and i am completely obsessing over her as the rest of my family is don't worry about this i do need to go fill up this water dish and wash it out right now after this but i just wanted to give a little overview of how her cage is looking right now 
over here we do have some of her old bedding from the rescue well the rescue gave us this bedding with her familiar scent that was in her bin cage while she was at the rescue so she won't be too stressed while she's settling in but they did say it's kind of dirty so it's only on this side of the cage i put all of it on this side of the cage so that'll be easy for me to just clean it out in about a week's time when she's hopefully settled and everything like that so i did make a couple adjustments to this cage you might notice these i actually got these from the rescue because they have an amazing little shop and they're just these little um i don't know wooden uh, circle things i forget what they're called but yeah i just kind of dotted those around the cage and then obviously the cage has been pretty messed up by her just exploring but i absolutely love the fact that she's going through and eating everything chewing on everything so it really does not matter that she's knocking over all this stuff and like getting all this moss in her sand bath it's just her way of exploring her little world and i will of course do a full spot clean at the end of this week i do spot cleans once a week and she's kind of over in this little corner over here right now that's one of her favorite little spots i think that's really cute behind her wheel she kind of takes her snacks over there and i think that's about it for little petunia or toonie as i've been calling her i think that's an adorable nickname so if you hear me calling her toonie that's just like a shortened version of Petunia. <laughs> She's off in that little tunnel exploring around. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this little portion here. Now that you've met Petunia, you can see some adorable little videos of her. So let's get into it. Now it's time for you to meet the second hammy we adopted. This is Ariel. She's a robo, also adopted from We Companions. The story of how we chose her, or rather how she chose me, is really cute, so I'm going to share that right now. When we walked into the rescue, I was fully expecting to get a baby boy robo because I had been looking on Pet Finder and looking at the listings they had, and they had about three baby boy robos available as well as their mother. So I was going to get a little baby boy robo and I and initially I thought that's what we were gonna do I'm gonna come home with a baby boy robo but then we went into the rescue and we kind of looked at the baby boy robos but we didn't really interact with them because I couldn't really like wake them up they were like all burrowed and sleeping but they were kind of starting to wake up so we can interact with them so we figured in the meantime let's go meet the mama robo so she got out the bin cage of Mama Robo and I stuck my hand in Ariel's cage and she put her paw on my finger like it was the cutest thing ever. It was almost like she was holding my hand and we immediately completely changed our minds and said we are getting her. So that's how she came home with us instead of the little baby boy we were expecting. But I absolutely could not be happier with her. I feel like it was just fate. It obviously needed to happen she was just so cute with me and she is so curious she's so interested in me and everything and i've been able to give her some little pets she's a very brave curious adorable little cotton ball of floof i just love her so much i cannot even describe how much i feel like this is just meant to be and even though we weren't intentionally planning on this whole thing i'm so glad it happened and i literally cannot be happier with the situation 
Also, Ariel's about six months old and Petunia's about seven months old. I don't think I mentioned that in the video yet, but they're kind of the same age. Petunia was born in December, Ariel's born in January. I think they're considered to be adults around six months of age, but they're still pretty young. I would consider them to be pretty young at least because most of my previous hamsters lived to be about two years. I wanted to get hamsters that were a bit younger to be able to spend as much time as possible with them because their lives are already way too short and it's really sad I get really really attached to them. But on a happier note, Ariel has been settling in really well. As you can see, she loves this wheel. She gets all her exercise in on there. I have to clean her wheel once a day because she's really messy with it. But she just spends so much time on there. She occasionally pees and that's not really her fault. So I am happy to clean her wheel once a day and also her sand bath. As you can see, she really loves that. She gets that pretty messy. I have to spot clean that every day. But now that we've gone over the basics and I've introduced her to you and you've got to see this little adorable football, I'm going to go over how we decided to put the cage in this spot. So as you can see, this is my 40 gallon tank that I previously used for Lily in my previous Rebel Hamster and it's on this kind of shelf with cabinets and I do have a lid with a scat mat so the cats can't get on there as well as the wrapping paper all along the back of the cage so the cats can't like look at her and scare her. And then I also did put some bins on either side of the tank because the shelf is longer than the length of the tank if that makes sense. There's space on either side where the cats could jump up if there wasn't anything blocking them. So I did take measures to make sure the cats can't get on top of the cage or scare her in any way. So she's living a peaceful cat free life. I'm just so happy with the situation and how everything worked out. Again, it truly feels like it was just meant to be how everything came together so perfectly. I was the one who was kind of doubting if we'd have enough space for a cage because the lady who adopts out the hamsters at the rescue was actually suggesting that we get a robo because we were going to donate this cage to the rescue, but she said you really should just get a robo, like find space for the cage. And surprisingly, we did it. I was not expecting this to happen at all initially, but I'm so glad it did. I'm so glad we found a spot and we're able to get everything set up. I actually set this whole thing up the day before we got her. Editing Annalie here. I just want to mention this is not a good idea for most people to do a last minute setup or an impulse purchase. This was not an impulse buy. I was fully prepared. I've accumulated so many extra supplies after years of owning hamsters, so do not do this unless you have a lot of hamster experience and have ended up in a similar situation. Thank you. But I made sure to have plenty of hides and everything and it just all worked out. Again, I'm just so happy. If you can't already tell, I'm so happy with her. So now I'm just going to show you some cute little clips and you can enjoy that for the rest of the video. I forgot to film an outro, so I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!